How to Care for Your Tech at New Tech. This presentation was created last year by our computer teacher, Ms. Corbett, and I just added to it this year. So I wanted to um, go over this with you because you're getting a brand new MacBook, or most of you are, and I want to make sure you know how to properly take care of it. So why should we care for our computers? They're expensive and they're a luxury for us to have and you get to keep it for all four years of high school. You do have to check it in during the summers, but if you take care of it, it will um, last longer. I went to tech and asked, what is the one thing you want freshmen to know about their new MacBooks? And one of the first answers <laughs> were, no stickers. So please do not put any stickers on your computer. The only sticker that it's okay to have on the outside of your case is the name sticker that you got on there when you got it from tech, if you're an upperclassman. So general care of your new computer. You want to always open it from the front in the center point, not from the edges. It's a really thin MacBook. It's thin and you could break the screen and if you open it from the edges. Never put pressure on the screen. So we never want to open the MacBook past its natural pivot stop point. So we never want to carry our MacBook by the screen. We always want to try to use two hands when carrying it. And we do not want to hold it by the screen whatsoever. So closing items inside your MacBook can damage the screen. So we never want to leave notes on our keyboards or a pencil or a paper clip or a raised sticker or anything like that. We want to close the screen gently and absolutely keep drinks away from your computer. I will also recommend keeping food away from it as well. You want to keep your MacBook clean. It's your responsibility to care for it. And absolutely, we do not want to tie, um, pile things on top of it. Charging cords. You want to wrap your charger up properly before putting it away. Use the clips on the charging block to help you control the cord. You can also get Velcro straps or a rubber band or something to help you keep it under control in your backpack or when you're taking it home. You want to be careful because the cables on the cord, if they bend too much, they'll break. Keep your cord away from pets. What you may not know about me yet is I worked in tech for one year when I first started at our school. And probably about once a week, I was brought a charger, charging cord because somebody's new puppy had a lot of fun with it. So keep your cords away from pets. We also need to be aware of the cord is a tripping hazard, especially in a classroom with lots of people. So we wanna make sure and not string our charging cords around too far. Do not loan out your charger. I put this on here as a warning. Sure, your bestie might need to borrow it once in a while, but do not loan out your charger. I've seen it happen multiple times. People loan out their charger and then they never get it back. The fine for losing a charger or needing a replacement cord is $80. $80! So keep track of your charging cord. It's a good idea to mark your own cord by putting a piece of tape with your name on it. More tips. Back up your data regularly. So we will be using Google Drive and Google Drive backup and sync in my class. Don't leave it on the hard drive of the machine. These computers have a small amount of storage and so it's important that you make sure and back up your projects. I have had this happen where someone has come into tech just in tears because their hard drive crashed on their computer and they lost a really important AP 
physics project that they were working on for three weeks. And so the moral of the story is back up your projects, even if they're in progress, not just when you finish them. Bring your laptop to school fully charged. Do not loan out your computer to other people. If an issue occurs with spills, try to clean it up immediately with paper towels and go to the tech room. Only visit approved internet sites or sites that were provided from your teacher. Keep only a few tabs open at a time. Do not keep three desktops open or 150 tabs. The tabs slow down your work speed and our network. So pretty please only keep a few tabs open each time. If you need help figuring out how to use bookmarks and bookmark folders, please let me know. I can help you with that. You can print from your MacBook, but only print if you have permission. Each classroom has different access to printers. Never download anything without teacher permission. If I haven't said it yet, it was in the presentation already, but I'll tell you again, be sure your device is charged each night before coming to school. I started out my presentation by talking about this, but I thought I'd put it in here a second time since it was the most important thing they asked is please do not put stickers on your computer screen, keyboard, or case. No marking on your keyboard, please. I have seen it where students will use dry erase markers or pencil marks on their keyboards or next to their trackpad to write down notes. Please, please, please do not do that. Just use a sticky note or paper or a digital note device. It would take you 231 hours to work at $9.25 an hour on minimum wage to cover the cost of replacing your MacBook. So please, please take care of your equipment. Thanks for watching and please let me know if you have any questions.